another great week of letters and numbers, where there are just so many different combinations available in the letters game that we could be on air continuously for thousands of years and never repeat a selection. It could be a very long broadcasting career for all of us. So let's welcome the team who might be with you for several millennia. First of all, the queen of the equations, Lily Cerner. Welcome. Hi, Lily, your TV career has only been about a week. How do you feel about several thousand years? Oh, look, I'd, I'd be delighted, but I think I'd have to check my calendar first. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're delighted you're here tonight. Welcome. And, of course, the man who helps us come to terms with terms, David Astle. Welcome, David. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. You've got a very big book in front of you with a lot of words, but would it actually take several thousand years to work through, do you think, for every word? Aside from the tons of skincare product I'd need, I, I think I'd just play it one millennium at a time. <laughs> so you're feeling a little bit weary at the thought? Yeah, look, I'm just to be happy if we get up to, you know, past A. Well, we'd certainly do that tonight. Welcome, David. Thanks, Richard. And now the people that will be playing the game with us tonight. And first of all, our carryover champion from last Friday night, management consultant Stephen Farrelly. Welcome back, Stephen. Thank you, Richard. Now, we heard uh, last week, Stephen, that you're writing a film script at the moment, but how is writing a film script different from other sorts of writing? Well, I've never done any other writing, and I'm actually working my way through my very first film script at the moment. It's the management consultancy paying the bills, and the script writing's a hobby. So the, the script writing is very much uh, a learning process for you as well? Very much so. Very expertly coached and very well coached, but yes. Well, good luck with it, and good Thank luck you, tonight. And ready to challenge Stephen is Dawn Tufton. Dawn is a mother of two and currently studying an accounting degree by correspondence. She's a keen scuba diver and used to go in particular on night dives. So welcome Dawn, but what was the attraction of night dives? Night dives are, are an amazing experience, Richard. It's the feeling I imagine you have when you're in space, you're weightless in the water, it's dark, it's quiet, you can only hear yourself breathing and you see some amazing marine life and it's very beautiful. Does it feel a little unsettling, that, that sense of floating in space in the dark? It does. It's kind of eerie until you get used to it, but it's actually very tranquil and very relaxing. And even if you've had a hard day at work, going on a night dive after work and coming home, you're just so refreshed. Fantastic. Well, tranquil and relaxing. That's exactly what the show is going to be tonight. <laughs> so good luck, Dawn. In fact, good luck to both our contestants who will be tackling the many thousands of possibilities that could appear tonight. Stephen Farrelly and Dawn Tufton. And we start, as usual, with the letter game. Each player attempts to make the longest word they can in 30 seconds. Points are only awarded for the player with the longest word, unless they happen to get exactly the same. And Stephen, can you start us off by selecting the letters, please? Surely, Richard. Hello, Lily. Could I start with a vowel? Thank you. You can. Thank you, Stephen, and welcome back. Starting with an A. Could I have a consonant, thanks? T. Another consonant, thanks? N. A vowel this time, please. I. A consonant, thanks? H. A vowel, thanks. E. Consonant, thanks. S. A vowel, please. U. Another consonant, thanks. And to finish, L. Thank you, Lily. The time starts now. Stephen, how did you go on the first word of the week? Five, Richard. Five for you. And Dawn, what about you? Five also, Richard. OK, what was your five, please? Shunt. And yours, Stephen? Shunt. Ah, oh, <laughs> a double shunt. <laughs> Can you just compare just to uh, verify with each other that you've both got the same? Yes. So, David? Shunt, uh, well done. Good fives. And um, I unleashed, unleash is one seven, the word insulate for eight. I-N-S-U-L-A-T-E. Oh, very nice indeed. So, two fives to start the night. Straight on to the next letter game and Dawn, your selection. Could I have a consonant, please, Lily? You can. Thank you, Dawn, and welcome to the show, starting with an N. And another consonant, thanks. 
C and another consonant, please. T and another consonant, please. R and a vowel, please. E and another vowel, please. O and another consonant, please. D and another vowel, please. I and another consonant, please. And lastly, M. Let's start the clock. First choice, Dawn? I had six letters. Six, and for you, Stephen? Five, Richard. What was your five? Mitre, M-I-T-R-E. And your six, Dawn? Mitred. Ah, there's some similarity going on, great minds. There's proof that telepathy pays off. Um, mitred is fine. Dawn, well done for six. I found doctrine, D-O-C-T-R-I-N-E, uh, which is actually stems from the idea of teaching as in a, a religious doctrine. Um, principle that you teach for uh, eight points. Thank you very much, David. So six points to Dawn. Stephen is on five Dawn, a total of 11. Now, our first numbers game for the week, and I can see Lily eager to get going on this one. Our players have to find a mathematical solution that gets them to the target number within 30 seconds. And of course, we need some numbers to start us off. So Stephen, can you select first, please? Yes, Lily. Could I have three large and three small, please? Three large and three small. Thank you, Stephen. Starting with the smalls, ten, six, nine, and the three large, 75, 25, and 50. And the target number is 575. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds to get to the target. not too big a challenge to start the week. Your uh, pen was down pretty early, wasn't it, Stephen? Did you get the target? It's a good start. Yes, I did, Richard. OK. And Dawn, what about you? No, I didn't. OK. Well, Stephen, take us through your method, please. Sure. Lily, it's 10 times 50. 10 by the 50. Plus 75. Is 500, of course, plus the 75. Gives you 575. Straight there. Very nicely done, Stephen. Lily, same approach from you, I guess? Yeah, nice easy one. I can see David waving at me frantically, <laughs> saying that he got it too. So. <laughs> Excellent. So, 10 points to Stephen, and uh, that means Dawn is on 11, Stephen on 15. It's time for our first word mix for you tonight, and it is Ember Rem with the clue. If you solve this, you'll never forget it. Back after the break. Yeah. 